the way people are dating definitely have been changed in these days. These days you can like date multiple people, date the same sex and it's more like socially acceptable. I think it has changed, um, mainly because obviously social media these days makes everything far more accessible. You could meet a romantic partner on the internet. I'm thinking of using online dating apps. It's, it's pretty funny, <laughs> it's good. My name is Lucy, I'm 25 years old and I'm studying Master of Humanitarian Assistance. Uh, my name is Stefan, I'm 27 years old and I'm studying the Masters in Information Systems at the University of Melbourne. I do believe in romance, but I think the concept of romance has changed over the years. Uh, I'm not sure if romance uh, still exists the way that we were told by our parents, but um, I myself I truly um, believe in true love. For me, romance is really deep. Um, I believe in soulmates. A friend once told me that you don't search for soulmates, they just happen upon you. People are changing um, at the moment because there's just so much more, so many more opportunities that you have nowadays. Tinder at the moment is really popular, so a lot of people our age um, use it, so I guess there is more of a, um, a variety of people on Tinder. Tinder is more about superficial, um, superficially looking for casual things. With Tinder, my experience personally hasn't been that great. People have, um, I found on Tinder, they wanted casual flings more, like hookup, that kind of thing. And that wasn't really what I wanted. Most of the guys and also me, we are not really thoroughly looking at the profile, so we just swipe right when it looks alright the first picture, so that's what you do and then once you have a match, you just take a closer look and see, oh yeah, it looks fine. There's definitely things that you can do to pimp your profile if you want to. If you put a picture of yourself online that shows you half naked after a workout or something, um, you probably get more, more uh, matches than, than before. I think it's just less personal because um, you just see their, you know, their profile, you see words, their picture and you can like just swipe and I think you lose the sense that they're human as well. I don't remember much about these girls that I met at that time. You just usually the way it works you meet with her in a cafe first and then the second time you invite her over and maybe cook something together and then if it works out fine you just end up in bed. If you want to find a serious relationship, you should find someone who has similar mindset, uh, similar goals or, and hobbies with you. I do kite surfing, so I just go out on the water and kite surf and uh, you also meet some, some kite surf buddies there and there's also some girls around. I still prefer meeting people in real life, like through friends or mutual people, than um, online dating. You know this feeling when you just meet someone and it's like this first second, you, you know it's, there's chemistry and yeah, it, it just feels right. So you can't feel that online when you just look at someone's Tinder profile. Doing something that you enjoy, so then when you meet someone um, there that you both, you know, you, you both enjoy the same thing. Don't go on Tinder, it's just superficial. But um, if you just follow your passion, your hobbies, um, I'm pretty sure you'll find someone um, on the way. And um, apart from that, Tinder might just be something for satisfying a quick need. <laughs>